Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. My name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one and today I'm going to share with you a day in our life. Now, this is a Monday that I'm filming this and it's a little different for us because we normally on Mondays go to a homeschool co-op. But because of the coronavirus, our school system has shut down our schools for two weeks and I think it'll probably be a little longer with that because their spring break is actually after these two weeks. And our co-op facility goes by the school district's calendar. So if they're out, we're out, which I think is a great thing. I'm, I'm totally for, um, you know, taking measures to prevent this from spreading. So while I'm okay with it, my son's pretty bummed that he's not going to see his friends for um, quite a few weeks. So we decided that we would just make the best of it. We're going to um, go about our day and use this Monday as just an extra day to learn at home. So I'm just going to take you throughout our day. Now normally on a Monday um, I do not do my cleaning routine until the afternoon because we have co-op. So I'm going to get started with my cleaning routine and um, we'll see what else happens today. I want to show you what my house looks like. We do clean up at night time but if my son is playing I do not make him pick up his toys. I do think that kiddos can pause their playing and they can continue it the next day. So if he's really adamant that, you know, I'm going to play that tomorrow, then I'll leave that out. So you will see that in my floor. But for the most part, my living room is pretty clean. All I'm going to have to do is dust a few things, um, sanitize the remotes and the light switches, the things I do every Monday anyway. Um, and then I'll also clean the small bathroom. That's one thing that I added on Mondays as well, if you've watched my past cleaning routine video. So let's get started. Happy Monday. So it's really not too bad. So this is what it looked like when I got up this morning. So we have the blanket on the couch for the dog because her dog hair will get everywhere. So we're trying to teach her to stay on the blanket. Those are my toys that my son was playing with right there. So we're gonna leave those out. Can you focus please? Thank you. And then apparently there's some type of war going on in our floor down here and I'm not gonna touch that. Like that's important to him and he's got it all set up and I'm not gonna move that. But I am gonna get the dog toys picked up. That's a um, fallout shelter that he actually made. He's been studying the war on his own and nuclear weapons as part of his interest-led learning. So I'm gonna leave that out. Um, so really all I have to do in here is I'll dust back here. All that'll get dusted. I'll fluff up the pillows um, and then I will clean this off. This is my stuff. I'll clean this off. Uh, anyone else have like missing DVDs? Like what in the world? Those are all the DVD boxes we cleaned out of our, our um, storage unit here and there's no DVD to be found. Like I don't even know how that happens. So those are there. Those are not getting cleaned up. That's my husband's deal. So I'm going to straighten this up and tidy it up, make it smell really good before everyone gets up. So I'm just starting by dusting off the lamps and our sofa table that's back there and the plant. Just getting all that dusted off because really the only thing, I mean, I maintain our house weekly and so really it's just about dusting and sanitizing. Like that's what I like to do. Um, I straighten up the recliner because it gets moved very easily by my husband and my son who sit in all the time. And then I also, what you can't see is I'm spraying the remotes and making sure they're sanitized. I do that weekly along with the light switches in whatever room I'm in. And then I'm just going to fluff up the pillows that get squished because we do love laying on our comfy couch. So I'll set those up. I'll probably straighten up these pillows about 10 times a day, maybe even more than that. And then I'm just trying to get my dog to learn to lay on her blanket so there's not dog hair everywhere. So I just straighten that up for her, put her a couple toys there so that she has somewhere to go when she's not playing in the floor. And that's really all I have to do. I'm picking up some dog toys. I just like to have it really nice and fresh and clean before everyone gets up. That's my goal um, when I'm doing my zone cleaning. I don't know about you guys, but I normally use Method Wood for Good on all of my surfaces in here in the living room to dust. But just since this virus, I've just been sticking to this. I love this Windex multi-surface. I've been using it for years and I just decided just to go back to it because I can use this on my wood stuff, on the windows, on the remotes and light switches and just get it all done at one time. So I'm gonna finish up the windows and see what else I need to sanitize. I don't want you to think I clean the windows every week. I don't. I don't feel like spraying the windows is necessary every week, but I haven't done it for this month yet. So I went ahead and did it 
for the month of March and I just do them super quick and using that Windex I'm able to move from surface to surface and not have to change my cleaning product and I'm just using a microfiber cloth from Walmart. And here I'm just wiping off our mantle because it gets very dusty so I just give it a good wipe down every week to make sure there's not a layer of dust caked up on the top. This is my tiny bathroom and there's just no way to set up the camera, but I have came in here and got it cleaned really quick. The only thing that needs to be done is the trash needs to be taken out, but that's my son's job, so he'll get that when he gets up. I like to get up about an hour to an hour and a half before my house gets up. So after I do my zone cleaning for the day, I like to grab my protein shake and I get on YouTube and catch up on some videos and all the mamas I like to watch. And do that in the peace and quiet until it's time to get my dog out of her crate, which is usually around 8.30. I'll go get her out and take her outside, and then the fun really begins. Since I've had my breakfast, I've gotten the dog up and taken her out for a walk. Um, and as we were out there, the day started off so bright and sunny, and then it got all cloudy, and now it's drizzling rain and has been since then. My son has woken up and had his breakfast, and we've kind of just been hanging out together. We've um, sat in the living room floor and played with his Terminator things. He has a Terminator movie going on um, the TV right now, so we're just kind of hanging out. It's 11.47, and we still haven't started school, and that's totally okay because I know it'll get done. I don't worry about it. Um, I know it'll get done when he's ready, and I think he's about ready to start. One thing I try to do around this time every day is think of what we're going to have for supper. Today I'm actually going to be eating leftovers, so my supper is very easy. I have a Japanese restaurant that I love in town, and right now they're doing takeout only because of the coronavirus. So my takeout came with so much food that I just halved it the minute that I got it. And so I'm going to have the other half today, and I'm going to make my husband the, um, they're called ranch um, chicken crescent rolls. I actually have them on a recipe if you go back through my videos, and I'll try to link it if I can remember it. Um, he loves them. You shred up the chicken, you add a ranch packet, cream cheese, and some cheddar cheese, and you put them inside a crescent roll and bake them, and they're so, so easy, but I had to eat them so much with him that I'm tired of them, and he's not. So, um, I'm going to make those for him, and I'm going to have leftovers, and my son is super picky, so he'll probably end up eating a Lunchable pizza because that's what he likes. But um, if you want that recipe, look in the description. I'll link it, or you can go back and look through my videos. It's such an easy thing to cook for dinner if you want something fast and easy and delicious. So just wanted to update you on where the time was and what we were doing, and uh, maybe we'll get started soon. All right, we're finally ready to start our day. Um, he's had some playtime, and Daniel's going to say hey. Hey. And I don't know if you can see Lola, but that's kind of our little class pet. She sits with him the entire time we do school usually. So we're going to start with morning basket. This morning we're just going to do our devotional. And while I read, he's going to um, color. This actually came with the Gather Around Homeschool Ocean Unit. So he's going to color on that and work on that while I'm reading his devotional. And our devotional is, we're still working through this. We love it. So I just start reading the devotional to him. Um, we discuss the Bible verse. We just stop and discuss what the devotional has to say. And today, like I showed you, he chose to color the coloring page that came in our unit. And it really changes every day. This is just what we happen to be doing this morning for our morning basket. I normally use the teacher's guide on my iPad, but I do film with my iPad. So let me just show you, it's super easy to print off if you wanna print from the teacher's guide if you get gather around. So this is the first lesson. We're actually gonna do two lessons today. We do a lot of interest-led learning around here and he wants to do that the rest of the week. But one of my non-negotiables is we have to do this unit study. So he picked to do two lessons, which is a lot and I'll show you, but he's gonna do um, two lessons from Oceans today so he can have the rest of the week to learn exactly what he wants to. So this is just lesson one and it's a couple of pages long. So we're gonna do it and these are his pages. So when you print off the student notebook, you're going to have pages like this. So after I read the teacher's guide, he's going to work on the notebooking page, and I'll show you what that looks like as he's doing it. Then he has um, a science experiment that we're going to do about water pressure. And let's see, what else do we have? We are going to talk about the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. We'll probably watch a video on that. And then he is going to create... 
his own sea creature. So this is just all of lesson one, and he's actually opted to do a second lesson today, so we get two lessons done a week. So I was pretty proud of him for doing that. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Reading from the teacher's guide, which is an awesome teacher's guide, by the way, usually takes us anywhere from like 8 to 15 minutes. It really depends on how deep we dive into it, what conversations we have, if we look up pictures while we're doing it. Now, pictures are provided in the teacher's guide, but sometimes we'll go and look for other pictures. We also um, will watch videos. We'll stop and listen to sounds, you know, different things like that. So it really is what you make of it. You could read straight through it, or you could stop and talk. He'll discuss. We'll look at the gorgeous photographs that are in it, and he'll keep busy by coloring or doing cursive or something like that, or filling out his notebook page that comes with it. We're learning about the blobfish right now. We're actually learning about lots of creatures that live in the deep, deep, deepest part of the oceans. And what I really love about this curriculum is she'll put things in here like your turn. So if you don't naturally on your own um, go to look at pictures of things, you can, this she'll remind you, and you can go and look things up. So we just looked up a picture of a real blobfish. So these are really helpful throughout the whole curriculum. Each lesson is going to have a day at a glance at the end of it, so you can see what your kiddos are doing. The only thing that I took out is the copy work and spelling. He is just really not into copy work, and I just don't find it necessary because we do our spelling in other ways, just from him writing naturally and things like that. But I think this is awesome, and then she also has her sources. Um, so we just finished up our reading, and which one did you end up picking? He did any, mini, miny, mo. So it was between the fang tooth fish, let me see that paper that you've got. Oh my cat. And the, uh, well that's the wolfish, and the blobfish. So he's, he picked the blobfish by doing any mini miny mo. And so he'll complete this paper where he'll talk about its appearance, its diet, its habitat, and an interesting fact. So he's gonna work on that real quick and then we'll move on to the next stuff. And yes, we're rocking Christmas pajamas because we can. All right, next up is our science. So we're going to learn all about water pressure. We've got our full water bottle because it says if you want to, this is just an optional science activity. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. You really could just read this if you wanted to. You could watch a video on it, whatever. But if you want to do that activity, you can. So we're going to read this. He's going to make a hypothesis, and we're going to try it out and see how it goes. Next up is our social studies, so we're going to learn all about pollution. As you can see, the same page alert means that if you have multiple kids, they all have this in their notebooks. You can read it to them, which I think is a great little reminder. So we're going to read this together, and um, we're actually going to do the extension activity where we research the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. I'm going to go to YouTube and see if we can find a video. Um, your kiddos can draw or write in this box, but we'll probably just talk about whatever we watch. So that's next on our... So we just read about the um, Great Pacific Garbage Patch, and we looked up images on Google, and it's amazing the amount of garbage that's in the ocean. So I found this, How Can We Keep Plastics Out of Our Ocean from National Geographic. There was a ton of different videos on here for kids about how to protect our oceans, so he's going to watch this really quick. So he decided he needed a brain break after that and get some physical activity. We would normally go outside, but of course it's a rainy day here. So we just looked up some Just Dance on YouTube so we could do it in our living room and we'll dance through maybe three or four songs and then he's ready to get right back to work and finish it up. And even our sweet little dog Lola, she needs some physical activity too so we just use our long hallway right there. I'll throw some toys for her so she can run back and forth. My son is using Khan Academy right now for math. He um, is on this subtracting decimals, but he said today, I understand that. Is there something else I can move on to? So we're gonna go ahead and move to the next, which is add subtract fractions. So he'll work on that. He'll watch a video um, and then answer some questions. We keep a notebook beside him so he can write out the problems if he wants to. I love Khan Academy, not only because it's free, but I really feel like it's good math instruction. So you could definitely check that out if you're looking for something else um, as far as math goes. I wanted to go ahead and show you lesson two that he's going to work on today because he asked not to be filmed anymore, and I totally respect his wishes. He said he just wanted to do his work. So he showed you half of the day on camera, and then we're going to do the rest of the day um, without being on camera. So we normally don't do two lessons a day, but he wanted to work ahead so he could do some interest-led learning the rest of the week. 
So lesson two is all about the giant squid. So I'll use my iPad to read from the teacher's guide all about the giant squid and he'll work on appearance, diet, habitat, and interesting facts. Then we get to actually start on our writing project, which I'm super pumped about. I love the writing projects in these gather round units. They're different each month and he always enjoys them. So this one is actually about a marine animal. So he'll get to pick a marine animal and we just plan. All we have to do is plan um, that. So that'll be pretty easy. Then here is our language arts grammar focus. And for this unit, it's all about using quotations and dialogue. So that will be, um, that will be really interesting because he likes to write stories and this will be a good way for him to know how to do quotation marks and commas and punctuation and all of that. And then we're also going to talk about the Mariana Trench, which he actually brought up last week when he was learning about, I can't remember what he was learning about last week, and he brought that up, and now it's in our unit, so I thought that was pretty neat, so we'll learn about that. And then the last thing, if he wants to do it, he can draw a giant squid, or he can go look at pictures and print them. It doesn't matter to me, but this is for art. So that's everything that's in lesson two, so we'll finish that, and that will be the end of our day. Well, guys, that's the end of our day. Um, of course, we are going to do lesson two, so we'll probably do that after lunch, but for a regular day and for getting Gather Around Homeschool finished, if you're um, curious to how long it takes your kiddos, my son is a fifth grader, and if he worked through just one lesson, it took him about an hour to actually do the Gather Around Homeschool stuff, and then we took a break and did some Just Dance to get some physical activity in for today. And then he did his math. So that's about how our days go usually. Of course, our day is going to run a little longer today because he wants to work extra, which I'm super proud of. But every day is very different here. I'm going to try to start doing some more day in the life videos to show you how different every day is because some days we do complete interest-led learning where he chooses what he wants to learn about. And other days we do our unit study. We also change up what we do in our morning basket. So. Um, yes, we just did the devotional today, but we change it up and do other things on other days. So I hope to get more of these videos out. If you like this, please make sure you like it. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.